a new thermal area was just discovered under Yellowstone supervolcano. This is by Tyler Durden on Zero Hedge, authored by Max Slavo of SHTF Plan. The new thermal area discovered under Yellowstone National Park nestled in beautiful Wyoming, but scientists are adamant this time that there is no impending eruption because they found another area of thermal activity near the caldera. Now, I'm reading this to you as we just had a 5.0 magnitude quake northwest of Yellowstone, just uh, northwest of this new thermal area. In, in actuality, it was an earthquake swarm, about 10 earthquakes, anywhere between 2 to 5 magnitude. The 5 magnitude quake was quickly downgraded by USGS to 4.4, and we have not had a, a big earthquake such as this for about 35 years. Now going to this, although scientists say that this new thermal area is just simply a normal part of Yellowstone's dynamic hydrothermal activity, the area has been slowly forming over the past two decades. And not only that, but it was just recently spotted using infrared images of the existing Turn Lake thermal area. And uh, also we have uh, uh, seismic monitors there, and we do have regular quakes there. Now, uh, obviously try, trying to quell the amount of talk about a supervolcano eruption, scientists insist that there is no eruption coming to Yellowstone. According to the reporter by weather.com, the new area is entrenched deep in Yellowstone's backbone, back country between Western Lake and the previously mapped Turn Lake Thermal Area. The U.S. Geological Survey confirms the thermal area's location earlier this month while downplaying any potential for an eruption. Quote, this is exactly the sort of behavior we expect from Yellowstone's dynamic hydrothermal activity, said Greg Vaughn, research scientist with USGS, just, uh, USGS writing in the blog post, and he says, and it highlights that changes are always taking place sometimes in remote and generally inaccessible areas of the park, such as this one. It's inaccessible. I venture to say that they should be sending, once the uh, snow and ice thaws out a little bit, it's very difficult to get there. They can't put cars in that area. It's uh, quite a ways from any nearby roads. So uh, they should have a field trip to observe exactly what's going on there. Is these Are these new hydro... Uh, uh, hydrothermal areas springs or the geysers or what what is there uh, now Yellowstone will erupt at some point and scientists have previously said we will have very little warning if it finally does blow meaning a couple of weeks to a couple of months it could be that fast the serene nature of Yellowstone is also one of volcanic activity Yellowstone has about 10,000 thermal areas concentrated in about 120 distinct areas. It holds over 60% of the world's geysers. USGS says that a thermal area in this area in which magma activity is concentrated or underground, these areas can include geysers, like Yellowstone's Old Faithful. They can also include hot springs and fumaroles, which are vents that allow volcanic gases to escape. They're surrounded by hydrothermal mineral deposits, geothermal gas emissions, heated ground, and lack of vegetation. The trees are dying around there as well. Yellowstone's thermal areas are the surface expression of the deeper magmatic system, and they're always changing, Vaughn said. They heat up, they cool down, and they can move around. And Yellowstone has undergone some changes as of late, such as the eruption of Ear Spring Geyser and the newly active Steamboat Geyser erupted 30 times last year and another 12 this year up to now. Even though a portion of these eruptions, earthquakes, and new thermal activity can be classified as normal, Yellowstone has a long, violent history showing those even mildly concerned about an eruption could be on the right track, but scientists are sticking to their guns saying there is no way Yellowstone is going to erupt. Quote, we've heard many statements that Yellowstone is overdue, that it has a major eruption every 600,000 years on average, and since the last eruption was 
631,000 years ago. Well, you can see where, where this is going. This is what Michael Poland, scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, recently wrote in a blog post. Quote, is this true? In a word, no. In two words, no way. In three words, not even close. Yellowstone does not work that way, he says. End quote. Well, there have been others that claim that, oh, even an earthquake, that is more to be feared than anything because of the fact that that could rupture the uh, magma chamber's roof and lead to uh, something that we're all afraid of. Uh, uh, here we are with the five. That's not small. Uh, that they're downgrading it. Okay, why did you downgrade it? Everybody else still has it as a five. But anyway, I'll leave links below for you for this at Zero Hedge. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.